I've got a super quick Canva tip for you guys today. I'm gonna to be showing you how to do that super trendy highlight effect around photos, just like that, for your social media graphics and YouTube thumbnails. So stick around. Okay, so we're gonna do this in a YouTube thumbnail. In fact, we're gonna make the YouTube thumbnail for this video right now. So we're gonna to go to create a design and we're gonna find YouTube thumbnails. So let's go ahead and make this a color. And let's just do a dark gray for right now because it's gonna give us a real nice contrast. So we're gonna go ahead and find a photo first. And if you saw my earlier video about how to organize your branded and stock photos using folders, which I'll link above just in case you missed it, um, I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna go straight into my folders, into my uploads. I'm gonna find one of my brand images. Let's grab one that has a nice kind of plain background. And then we're gonna go ahead and first we're gonna remove the background of this photo because we want it to be not with all the other stuff behind me, but mostly just me, right? So we've done that. And now I wanna actually do a quick crop in here. I don't honestly don't know if this part is necessary, but I like to do that because I feel like it just makes it easier for my eyes if I don't have all that empty space included in that part of the image. But from here, now we're gonna add that highlight effect, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click on the image again and go to edit photo. And from here, we're gonna choose the shadows effects. And we're gonna go with the glow option. And you can see here, we immediately got a glow. It's not the color that we want to start with. Um, so let's go ahead first and change that to white. But even when we do that, you can see it's still that glow effect. It doesn't have that thick, sharp line that we were looking for. So there's two things you need to do in order to get there. First thing you wanna do is take this blur amount slider and go all the way to the left. And you could see how that makes it nice and thick, but the color's not quite right. That's not a bright white, that's kind of like a gray, right? So from there, we wanna actually go down to the color intensity, take that slider and go all the way up. So now you can see we've got that super bright, highlighted, this is gonna stand out even if it's over a background that's a little bit more busy and has more going on, okay? This helps to create that space and that contrast between that busy background or that dark background and the image that we want featured. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.